Lining is a jargon term in dentistry that refers to the lining of prostheses. Lining a prosthesis is a dental method used to adjust a prosthesis that no longer fits properly. It's important that the jawbone be adequately stressed, either by teeth or by implants. If it's not, it's reabsorbed. Normally a prosthesis sitting on the mucous membrane accelerates this process. That's why the prosthesis has to be adjusted after a while. If this doesn't happen, pressure marks in a badly fitting prosthesis are the consequences. When lining a prosthesis, the loss of substance is compensated for with a plastic compound. Here you see a patient with an ill-fitting full prosthesis in the upper jaw, which is why a lining is performed. First, impression material is applied onto the base of the prosthesis. It's the violet compound. While the compound is hardening, the dentist keeps pulling on the patient's lips. Furthermore, the patient uses his mimic musculature, swallows and moves his tongue. This is all done purposely so that the dental technician can clearly recognize the borders of important anatomical structures, for example the tongue and the labial frenula, in relation to the impression. Then the prosthesis is taken out of the mouth and filled with plaster. This provides the dental technician with an exact copy of your jaw. Before the old, previous dental prosthesis can be lined with the aid of the plaster model, the plaster model must be processed. Using a special type of silicone, your old dental prosthesis is placed in a special fixture. The actual lining will subsequently be executed in this fixture. As soon as all the required parts have been adjusted properly, the dental prosthesis is removed from the plaster model. In the next step, the technician uses a pencil to trace the important anatomical features on the plaster model. Individual details are reworked with a special plaster knife. Now the impression material is removed from the base of the prosthesis and the base is roughened up. After the plaster has been isolated with a special type of lacquer, this is done so that the new prosthesis doesn't get stuck in the plaster, the prosthesis compound is mixed. Now the prosthesis compound is applied to the plaster model and the dental prosthesis. Finally, the technician places the prosthesis in the fixture and allows the prosthesis compound to cure as heat and pressure are applied. After curing, the prosthesis is removed from the plaster stump and receives its finishing touches. The dentist then checks whether the prosthesis has a good fit in your mouth and whether the bite is correct. And that's how a prosthesis is lined.